Hi everyone. This is L. I'm L. I'm the host of the Speaking Tongues podcast, the co- podcast in conversation with multilinguals. And I decided to make a series of videos just about food because I love food. Um, I live in New York City and we have some of the most international food selections in the country. Um, I think so. Maybe Houston or Miami or LA can also take that crown. We can share it. We can all share it. Okay. So the first, this is going to be a series and I hope that you will like this series. Please let me know if you do. Um, give this video a thumbs up or leave me a comment telling me that you want to see more. So the first place that we're visiting in the form of snack food is one of my favorite places, one of my favorite countries, South Africa. Talk. So why South Africa? Why not South Africa? I love South Africa. I visited for the first time in 2013. I was a guest at a wedding, at a friend's wedding in Cape Town, and I absolutely love South Africa. It's I've only gotten to see Cape Town, but everything I've seen of the country is just stunningly beautiful, incredibly gorgeous. And when I found out that there was a store in New York that had some South African goodies, I had to check it out right away. And of course, I like to support a small business in New York City, always make an effort to support. So um, I got five things from them just recently, and I want to try them. Really think that I'm going to like most of the things here, but you never know. So this is a bit of a blind tasting. A few of these things I've had before, so I'll just kind of share some stories while we go through it. First um, thing I do have is some biltong, and it's in this paper bag. Now, if you don't know what biltong is, it's essentially like jerky. The biltong that you'll find in South Africa is made of like game so, this store they do their own biltong and it's all grass-fed beef which as far as i know i think the reason is because there's maybe some kind of you know you can't bring this into the country type of thing um so they make their own biltong and i think there's four or five different kinds of it i get the one that I really love. It's the um, Lean Wet one. And I've also tried the counterpart to this one, which I don't remember the breakdown of it. But I like the Lean Wet one because um, I went in there and I said, you know, I want to try some Biltong. And this is the one I like the most because well, let's just try it and we'll find out. So this is, this is one piece of Biltong. It's jerky, you know? And I asked him to slice it for me. I asked him to slice it for me. Um, this is so good. If you're into jerky at all, particularly like Jack Links or what's the other one? Slim Jim, something like that. This is totally different. It's very savory. It's not too salty. Like jerky has a tendency to be too salty. Um, obviously, it is salted, but it's not. It's not fatty. It's not oily. That's what I like about it. Is that you can really taste the meat. You're not tasting like you're chewing on a piece of fat, and it's not gristly. Like, I love Jack Links, especially on a road trip. <laughs> a couple bags of Jack Links are amazing. It's not too peppery. It's not too salty. In fact, the ingredients, beef, spices, apple cider vinegar, Worcester sauce. I think it's that Worcester sauce that's giving it this, like, almost umami type of flavor. And it's really subtle. And I only got a handful of this, a couple bucks worth, um, and I think it goes for about, they have it there for about $50 a pound, so, you know, you could easily eat a pound of this, it's really delicious, um, and I'll probably finish that later. 
The second thing, the second thing that I want to try, um, I've actually not had this before. Even when I went to South Africa, I feel like I, I always hear South Africans speaking about it. Um, I didn't get a chance to try it when I was there, but um, jelly tots. Now, I don't know. It looked like they look like gumdrops. It says fruity flavored jellies with a sour sugar coating. So let's open these up. See what we got. I love candy. I love gummy bears. I love jelly beans. I love anything sour. That was an orange one. Oh, these are good. These are good. They kind of taste like Sour Patch Kids, but they're not as sweet. Let's show you this here. So they're little. They're really, really small. Um, they're really tiny. They're really tiny. Um, these are delicious. These are really good. Okay, South Africans, don't laugh at me that I'm reviewing Jelly Tots. <laughs> They're really, really good. The third thing I got, and I think this is the same maker of the Jelly Tots, but these are black currant wine gums. And the reason why I got these is because I had just been talking about black currant with someone and I feel like it's not a flavor that we experience very often in the US. I feel like a lot of our flavors are like uh strawberry, maybe blueberry, raspberry, berry flavors, maybe citrus flavors too. Black currant is one of those flavors that like I don't know, it's just it's not it's not a crowd favorite here for some reason. But I love it. I think I think these are I think it's a really amazing flavor. So I'm going to try one. They're really small. It's about the size of a Certs. Oh, it's chewy. They're chewy. These are really good. It kind of reminds me of like those Easter candies, like, not like Smarties, but the ones that are kind of like tough, but then you chew them and they soften up. I like these. I like these a lot. Okay, almost there. The fourth thing got five things. This is the fourth thing. And this is one of my favorites. And I actually have a story behind this one. So the famous Cadbury Milk Top Deck Bar. And I got the bubbly version because that was all they had in stock. They didn't have the regular one. So I've never, I've never actually tried this version, but let me just tell you this quick story. When I went to South Africa the first time in 2013, I had a friend of a friend say, um, I, you know, I'd love it if you bring me back a top deck. And I was like, the heck is that? And <laughs> I had no idea what it was. And instead of asking somebody when I got there, I think I felt kind of embarrassed to ask, but Instead of asking somebody when I got there what it was so I could bring it back for this person, I just went to, from store to store and I was looking around and I didn't see anything. And so I did what I had to do in, in Cape Town. And then I, um, you know, I was coming back through London, through Heathrow. And if any of you are familiar with the Heathrow International uh, Terminal, um, there's so many stores, right? 
So, you know, I went into one of those convenience stores and I was like, oh, shoot, I forgot to get this top deck. And I went in there and um, obviously they didn't have it because this is pretty much exclusive to South Africa. Um, they obviously didn't have it. And I bought instead Double Decker, which if you know, is not this. So I want to break this off, but here is what the bar looks like. This is like triggering my trypophobia a little bit, but um, the back is chocolate and the top, the top deck is white chocolate. So let me break a piece. Okay. Oh boy. And the inside, yeah, this is definitely like a trypophobia nightmare. <laughs> if you can see, it's bubbly inside. Oh, oh my God. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't look at it. I can't look at it. I can eat it, but I can't look at it. Um, and if you don't know what trypophobia is, please look it up because you might have it too. Um, but This is super creamy. It's very airy. Very light. If you have the typical one, the Cadbury bar, it has like the squares that you can break. But this one is totally different, but it tastes the same. Now, what I love about Top Deck is that I don't like white chocolate. And if you don't like white chocolate, it doesn't matter. This is probably the least, like, it's not very sweet. It's not a very sweet white chocolate. And if you don't like white chocolate for the same reasons I don't, then you understand what I mean. But this is good, y'all. Cadbury is the kind of chocolate that you keep in the fridge and you break off a little piece for, you know, when you just feel like tasting something sweet. And this is going right in the fridge for <laughs> for a couple of weeks. Um, that was really good. It's so much airier and lighter than the, the traditional top deck. So if you can find that one, you know, don't be afraid to buy it if it doesn't look like what you're familiar with. The last thing that I have here is um, it's a beverage. It's a beverage. The last thing that I have is a beverage. Um, I've never heard about this outside of South Africa. And I actually, the first time I had it was in South Africa. Um, I love the name of it. And sometimes you see it, depending on where you go, like you can see it in, in other places. Um, it's not common at all, but it's really, really lovely. Um, if you know, you know, appetizer. This is a 100% sparkling apple juice. Um, I haven't had this in ages. <laughs> so, um, I don't really even remember what it tastes like, to be fair. But I have this can. And we're going to open it and see... see what it tastes like I'm gonna pour it in a glass because I'm a lady okay cheers it smells very appley you know what actually it smells like apple juice duh like it is apple juice I'm making apple juice some right now let me agitate it a little <laughs> a little bit okay yeah this is really sweet so if you're familiar with American Thanksgiving particularly black American Thanksgiving you might be familiar with Martinelli's sparkling cider this is not a sparkling cider this is apple juice carbonated apple juice it tastes apple juicy. 
it's sweet you know where sparkling cider is a little bit more it's not as sweet like this is very sweet and they actually have other flavors of it too like there's a grape tizer and there's a red one but i don't remember what the i don't remember what the fruit is and this is part of the coca-cola family who knew i didn't but i love this i love the design of this can i love you know the font is so cute and the little crown over the a and appetizer is adorable mm. i'm kind of looking for ingredients but i don't see any zero fat that's always good 32 grams of sugar but you know what this is just a treat that you have you're not in south africa all the time so this is really good this is a nice little something to have with dinner so that's my video on south african snacks please if you like this video please feel free to give it a thumbs up um, and please subscribe to my channel i have weekly videos out on my podcast that are audio videos so you can, you can always play it in the background while you are attending to other things and um, this is also a really great platform to listen to the podcast on and if you're not listening to my podcast uh, currently you can listen to it it's available on apple Podcasts. it's available on spotify so i'm gonna come back with another video about um, snacks that I found in New York and and some international snacks and we're gonna get we're gonna make this a series this is gonna be a series of international snacks so please let me know if there's any country you want me to visit by snacking please let me know um, let me know in the comments uh, if you follow me on Instagram send me an Instagram send me a DM on Instagram and let me know um, if there's any place you think that I should check out here in New York City. So until the next one, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.